Wow. Cable is so mess. How 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 can I put this on my airplane? Oh no. This is what I did to my JJR CX1 and yeah I just have a hole here one you can see here two three four the hole is for my ESG way to the motor like that and I did it all to the all four of this arm and then I'm still using the original flight controller from X1 and this is the ESC that I bought it is ESC is 12M distribution board this is the PDB okay just like this so under my last video I got error on my JGRC ESC board this is the original one from the JGRC X1 this guy's one always produce heat I don't know maybe some resistor here is damage or anything that cannot uh, uh, cannot filter the voltage to this ESC on the right on the up right side so this is not used I cannot use this anymore because yeah you know it's been replaced with a new one also this side and it still got a hit and die now wait I don't need this anymore so I bought the separated ESC from Simon is 12 amp is the same as the that one that I throw that is 12 amp 12 ampere so I put this four to all my motor but it cannot place on the inside it cannot place inside the body because it, I cannot put this thing like that if I put the ESG inside this arm it cannot fit so it means I have to put the ESG on the back side of every arm like this okay so I have to put it in here and make the I'm, I'm using the plastic plastic what 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 it's called plastic what is this in English I don't know so I will use this or tie up this I have to put one cable for every motor this is the signal ESC signal cable for, from its ESC so I put it in there and I can still use this empty space from the battery so here is the inside of the signal the out the output signal okay this this little tiny board has a connector and this a sign here a text written as a uh, let's focus please focus please this m1 m2 m3 and m4 and also 7.2 volts this is the, the ground so i know this white this white cable is a signal from the ESC I mean to the ESC and this red is the 7.2 or 2S battery and this is the ground this is for the negative pole this is the positive pole so with this configuration now I can just use the orange cable and um, I mean the yellow cable from the ESC from the same signal ESG as you know this ESG this is a chip ESG it has a three cable the brown is for the ground 
brown for ground yeah this is good just like a poem and the yellow is for the signal and I don't use the red one so I will cut off the red one this is the red one the red cable not used I need a paper and a pen now wait a second so this is the paper yeah you know this is the, the the board of the original ESG board it, it has one two three one two three this is the front side one two three one two three and this sign as uh, a I will make this as an A and also this is an, an A this is a A and A it means this is B and C with this uh, original so the motors if I see from the upside this is the A this is the B and this is the C so the original one the C connect to the C B to the B A to the A but for the counterclockwise the B and C is swept the B and C should be swept okay now I got an EST I got an EST here and this is the input and this is the input voltage okay this is the plus from 7.2 volts oh my other hand is holding this camera and this is the minus so with this configuration i can determine this is to the motor okay to motor this one should be a this color is red and then this B and this is T C okay so it will make the movement like this we have to make sure the move of its motor like this and 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 you must remember there is a board a tiny board that used to be a receiver okay this is the rx and also and also the flight control and then if you see this one from the other side how can i put this explain to you oh okay so if you pull out this connector so you will get the color black and red so this one is black this one is red this one needs 7.2 volts this is the minus and there will be a white so i cannot uh maybe i can i don't know if you can see okay there, there is a four channel four signal three four this is a white color and according to the board of from this color this is the uh, m4 m3 m2 m1 okay this M4 is belong to how this M4 okay this belong to the motor from this configuration so from the board that I throw that that way it's right in here it's a M1 the motor one is here and this is the motor 2 this is the motor 3 and this is the motor number 4 so you just need to put this for 
moving this motor okay so all you have to do is connect this to this motor but using an ESC okay so the ESC has a cable three cable one two three this cable is colored by yellow this color is red it's not used and this color is brown this is the ground okay so we just use two cable from the ESC from this ESC there is one two three we just use two cable the yellow and the brown okay I hope you can understand this so guys here's the result how I put the power distribution board to the all of this quadcopter okay so the ESC has the plus and minus okay if you can see this uh, let me explain to you I have blue cable here don't be confused because this blue cable is going to this uh, red cable for yeah for supplying power to this board this is the plus the plus is connected to the plus and the minus connect to the minus here okay and then every single white cable here I connect them to the ESC this is the the yellow cable from ESC and of course it will be according to this configuration that I has right unto you okay and then the ground this this brown is the ground of ESC so if you can see this there is three three color okay brown is ground yellow is signal so the brown one I put the brown to the minus one pro just two and then let's power this thing up it's turn on power is ready so before this happening this motor is not moving and makes the that make that thing going hot and blow just like that and now this is the ESC I hope this one this one is connected to this motor is will not blow up the remote okay it's connected and then let's do some calibration calibration finish and let me check the heat of this four ESC is okay the board there is no heat and let me start okay it's good this is rotating to this way correct this rotate to this way is correct also this one is correct this one is correct okay and let me check the heat no no hit no hit at all this one no hit at all this one no hit so it's going perfect move this thing to the front and then this will be stopped okay so this is the right one and move it to the back this will be stopped yeah and move to the right side this will be stopped okay. to the left side this will be stopped so the configuration is all ready to fly the important thing is it can fly now 
that one cost if I buy the new one it cost sixty dollar but this one is only eight dollar so I don't know how much is this cost it's so cheap maybe it's just one dollar